YouTube. What is going on? It is Sands. Got the uh, headshot tutorial for you guys. This, of course, is for the pistols. If you guys missed the one for the uh, assault weapons as well as for the um, SMGs, the link is below in the description. So hopefully uh, you guys can take a look at that and you guys can see kind of the difference between the two. So for the uh, for the assault rifle one, uh, the big tip that I gave out was pretty much you know you want to pre-fire as much as possible so basically you get you know the person's head in sight and then as you're firing then you want to drop down now with this one it's a little bit different you know the pistols are are a completely different animal um basically you kind of want to you kind of want to take the kill where you can get it um i mean you definitely want to try and aim for the head as much as possible but you got to remember that there's a lot of bullet drops so if someone is even at that mid-range you got to be aiming pretty damn high and then the recoil itself is is you know pretty considerable with that last shot right there uh, in the middle, you can see that that guy, I thought I was hitting what, you know, pretty much the, the crown of his head, uh, and then he ducked. So, you know, I mean, I didn't I didn't get the headshot on him, um, and that's kind of the downside of playing regular. So, you know, again, we are playing regular here, and, and one of the issues with that, of course, is that, you know, you're looking at basically, you know, two shots uh, directly to the head. Now, I did mess around, and I played hardcore, of course, and uh, and had, I guess, miss or mixed, uh, mixed successes with it. You know, again, in this particular round, I ended up getting 15 headshots, and 15 is like, I mean, that's a, that's a shit ton. Now, I am playing hard points, so the rounds are a little bit longer um, than what you would find, you know, in Kill Confirmed or, or in TDM. So, you know, you, you, you do have to take that into account. Now, I would say that with uh, Kill Confirmed, with TDM, I was averaging somewhere along the lines of five headshots, I would say, per round, uh, which, of course, is, is not, you know, a lot, but it's not, you know, you know, it, it, it's a decent amount, you know, I was talking to some other people that were also doing, you know, a headshot challenge and they were saying they were averaging around two, so, you know, I mean, five is definitely, you know, better, I mean, you know, it's, you know, 125% better or so, so, you know, I mean, that's, you know, nothing, nothing to, to complain about, um, I guess, it's just one of those things that, that as you're working through challenges, obviously, you just want to, you want to be able to, to compete as many as, as, as possible. Now, what you saw right there, I guess, is one of the limitations of the 5.7. So it does have 20 bullets, which is really nice. The magazine size is extremely awesome. But the downside of it uh, is that, uh, you know, when I was shooting that guy with a shotgun down in that in the boiler room, uh, is that you don't really have a lot of the power. So, you know, that's, that's kind of the downside. Now, with the sniper uh, previously, you know, I did have enough time where it was up close and personal to really, you know, get level off and then square in on his head to get that, to get that headshot. So again, you do want to still intentionally aim a little bit high when you're when you're going for these headshots. And I do recommend the red dot sight. Uh, you know, I kind of was like, oh, do I want to run red dot sight or not? You know, or does it make that much of a difference? And, and it does. You know, it's, it's going to make a world of difference for you. Um, long barrel is pretty much uh, a must if you don't have it unlocked. You know, just grind it out until you until you unlock it. And to be honest with you, after playing, you know, I would say the same amount of um, the same amount of reg matches as uh, as hardcore matches. I would say that I'm pretty pretty even on both. You know, I would say that I actually had more success on uh, reg than I did hardcore, and I don't know if it's just because we were playing hard points, so it's more objective based. You know what I mean? So with the objective based game modes, obviously people tend to be you know, charging more into the hard point, so I was able to kind of flank around or, you know, try to get into their spawn. You know, even on the mini-map right there, you can see the entire flow was, you know, pushing into that, um, into that piano room right there, or into that, you know, the dining area. So, you know, it's kind of one of those nice things. Now, right there, you know, the guy had the right shield on his back, so I was able to kind of flank around and just, you know, get, get on the side of him. Now, we did experience some lag in this, which, uh, which did, of course, suck, but, of course, you know, what can you do about that with lag comp or whatever, but, uh, but it's just one of those things. So my recommendation for you guys is um, for class setup. If you're if you're playing on regular, you're definitely going to want to have um, you know lightweight. You're going to want to rock toughness for sure. And then I would recommend dexterity and extreme conditioning. Now don't rock a primary. You can see that kid was rocking a primary on that one. Uh, you know on his back for me. I, I didn't bother. You know I I would rather take a perk slot with it. Uh, instead, and then you know I'm rocking a, a concussion. Now again, see right there, that's a that whole lag issue. You can see that those dudes just eight bullets. I thought I was connecting and I didn't, you know, but whatever. So 
Again, uh, you know, I did have that, that concussion grenade uh, that I'm going to try, you know, to use to, to stun him so that I can get easier headshots. Although, to be honest with you, um, it's, a, it's a little bit difficult at times. So, you know, it's kind of, you kind of have, have mixed, mixed results. One thing that I would recommend using instead uh, for your score streaks is probably a UAV. I think UAV would definitely make a world of difference. UAV, counter UAV, and then probably an orbital VSAT because once uh, someone you know gets an orbital VSAT, I mean, you really do help your team out considerably, and of course, you're able to anticipate and, and, and see where where the other team is. So, so that definitely plays plays a world of difference. Now, as far as hardcore classes are concerned. Um, I did do pretty much the same thing where I did not have a primary, you know, again, I was, I was pretty much just looking at, at trying to get my, uh, trying to get my speed classes or my, you know, you know my, my, my running as much as possible. So again, you know, it was, it was red dot sight, um, dexterity, extreme conditioning. In some cases I was rocking dead silence just to see if that really made a difference. And I'm not really sure that it did. Now the big thing, though, with you know, with, uh, with hardcore is that you know people play slower. I mean, in this one, I mean it's just pure chaos, right? So you can pretty much just just try and aim high and then just you know consistently just you know spray. Uh, but the nice thing about hardcore, though, on the other side of it, is that people don't necessarily uh, need to take you know two or three shots in the head. I mean, it's pretty much like one shot and they're dead. So you know, you kind of have your trade off. So my re main recommendation for you guys is really just to try and play both game modes and then see see what happens, you know what I mean? See if uh, if you guys can, you know what I mean? See, see which one works for you. Now I do recommend trying out an objective-based one. Uh, this is, today was actually the first day that I actually started playing Hardpoint and, you know, again, I got, you know, the 15 headshots on this one. So, I mean, I can't, I can't knock it, you know, I mean, I definitely did a lot better than I thought that I was going to, so, you know, there's that. Another suggestion that I would make is to drop your sensitivity down. I know that in previous videos I was saying, oh yeah, you know, turn your sensitivity up, uh, but after playing League, and this is actually one of those, one of those big things that I meant to mention in my League uh, video, is turn your sensitivity down, you know, I was playing on 14 or whatever for, for a while there. Uh, but in league play, you know, one of the biggest things and one of the biggest mistakes that you can do is actually have your sensitivity turned up. I mean, the big, the big thing that you want is for auto aim to, to actually help you, uh, and it can fuck you in some, you know, instances. But you know, you really, you really want it to, to try and be there to, to help you out instead. So, turn your sensitivity down, and you can actually find that it's going to be easier to get to get the headshot instead. Um, also. Uh, I think that, that by going up in in weapons, by going 5.7, you know, then by going, you know, to your 45, then B23 Executioner, which is going to totally blow, and then uh, the Cat 40, I think it's going to make things a little bit easier because you're going to get more acquainted. And the reason why I say that is with a 5.7, uh, it does have considerably less damage, like I was saying, right? You know, 45, again, you know, two shots, pretty much, and you're going to be able to kill somebody. So, you know, uh, you're going to really be able to get the, uh, the feel for the gun. Now for the executioner, that that one's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. Um, and of course, I I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to manage the challenges uh, once I do hit the hunter. So as soon as I you know kind of figure out um, some tips for that, then of course I will share those with you guys. Now one other thing that you will want to um, to take note of is that with this uh, particular or with the pistols themselves, um, you're going to want to prestige the pistols pretty much as soon as possible and. The nice thing about it is that you're going to be able to work towards that pistol mastery. So if you guys don't know uh, about that challenge, you actually should go ahead and, and look it up. Uh, it's a pretty cool one. You can get the uh, the primary weapons master and then the, the secondary weapons master. So you know, I, I just finished recently the uh, the primary weapons, and of course, obviously, as you guys can tell, I'm now going for the secondary weapons. Uh, so in any case, I hope that. Uh, I hope this kind of sheds some light on at least what I'm doing here. Again, I think that seeing actual footage of the of the gameplay itself sometimes is a little bit more helpful than someone just trying to tell you, you know, this is how you do it. You know, step one, fucking do this. Step two, do that. You know, um, and actually, you know, right here, realistically, I, I thought that we were going to be able to pull the win. Uh, what I should have done was push out to that right because all of them were gathered there, and I probably could have gotten you know at least one or two more headshots instead. And then I realized after calculating the time that you know there was no way that we were going to win, so um, I ended up pushing up. But 
you know, at least I at least I, I finished up with that headshot, um, you know, right there. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to show you guys the different classes um, that I do have set up so you guys can go ahead and take a look at that. And hopefully that'll shed a little bit of light. You can see, though, that even though we lost, you know, it still went 38 and 26. Um, that kid went 51 and 29. Uh, but he was saying that he only got two headshots on that, though. So, you know, um, it is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and end this film, and I'm going to back out. We're going to hit up this here, create a class. Now, this is what I was using. So you can see right here, 5.7, and actually I just did that, so I'm going to go ahead and prestige this. Um, but before I do that, you can see that I have lightweight, tough nicks, this dexterity, and extreme conditioning. Again, this... Extreme conditioning is nice because if you are playing hard point, you can go ahead and rush ahead and get the get the you know first 200 points. So that's kind of nice. Now I do have the secondary gunfighter uh, so that I'm able to to attach that long barrel. So now that you know I'm going to prestige my weapon, um, you know, and then I'm starting over. Obviously, I don't have anything unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a grenade and then a concussion, and then that does leave me with an additional empty slot. But you know, I really don't care at this point. Now for my hardcore classes, which are actually over here, somewhere, are they? Yeah, right here. So this is what I was using for hardcore. So again, it was the 5.7, um, and this, of course, would have been the same thing. It would have been a reflex and then long barrel. Um, the lightweight, dead silence, extreme conditioning, two concussions, and I'm just going to go down. You guys can see that I had a variation here with the cold-blooded in there, and then this time with no dead silence. This is the TAC-45, uh, and I was rocking Ghost just in case, um, you know, again, this time I was rocking Engineer and TAC Mask. And my thinking there was that in Hardcore, a lot of people like to throw up Shock Charges, Claymores, you know, Bouncing Betties and that type of stuff. So I wanted to make sure that I could run through those in case someone was kind of camping and I could get the headshot that way. Um, so these are, you know, just, just a couple of the different different things that I'm using. This one's the B-23. Um, so, you know, I mean, just, just kind of take, take your your choice and, and, and mess around with it. You know, again, I'm, I'm really pretty much just going 5.7, you know, then TAC 45, then the B23. I'm just going to go in order. So if you guys are curious about my progress, you can see right now I'm 92 of 100, so I'm getting pretty damn close. Um, now the, the TAC 45, I actually use as a secondary a lot, so I may actually be closer. Uh, so yeah, you can see that I'm pretty much halfway there already. Uh, for the B23, I don't know where I stand, 16 to 20, so that'll be a little bit of a grind. God, for the Executioner, I don't even want to know. Jeez, 14 to 15, so that one is not going to be fun. Do I have to get 100? Oh my god, that's going to be, that's not going to be fun. Let's see about the cap, 40, uh, so I am at 38 to 40, so... That may be a little bit of a pain in the ass as well, just because it's fully auto. So I might try and do that one on. Um, I try and do that one on hardcore actually, because that might be a little bit easier. Although, it'd be cool if they did have a select fire, but they don't. So in any case, you guys, I hope that this video helps you out. Thanks for watching. I know that it was a little bit long, but uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks.